What's going on, my peoples? Today, we're going to talk about seniority in um, food service. What does seniority mean? Um, and, um, you know, we're just going to talk about seniority and how important it is to, um, you know, get into food service and just try to stick it out with one job. You know, whether we know it at first, it's going to be hard when you just start working in food service because you're all the way on the bottom of the list. Let's just say your building carries 100 drivers um, and you just get a job, you're gonna be number 100. So that's a rough spot to be in, I'm telling you right now, because typically, if you're at the bottom of the list, majority of the time, you're not gonna get no route. You're gonna bounce all over the place like a bouncing ball. You're gonna bounce all over the place, man. Um, you're gonna start all different types of times, you know? It's not easy being the new guy, but if you stick through it, you stick with it, man, um, you're eventually going to be all right. You know, right now we carry like my division that I work at, we, keep, we, we typically carry right around 100 drivers, sometimes more, sometimes less. Right now I'm like on the sonority list, I'm like, I think I'm like 41 right now on the sonority list, I'm 40 right around there um it's a decent spot to be in right now um you know um it, it was kind of rough when i started out you know bouncing all over different different routes one of the ways i made money when i was new in food service i wanted to be like a floater i wanted to know like everybody's route so when they go on vacation i used to do all the um the guys route that's in like the top 20 of seniority you know and I learned all their routes man and um, I was able to make money like that now <clears throat> typically speaking once you start moving up the list you're gonna get a decent routes the higher you get on the list the more option you're gonna have to pick an easy route you know like being in the top 10 in the billing of seniority doesn't necessarily mean that you're gonna make the most money, but you're gonna have the option to take the easiest route. And that's the route most most guys choose to make. Like I'm gonna tell you right now, guys that's like on the list from like, I'll say from like 15 to like, if you're on the list like 15 to like 50, stuff like that, you're going to have you're gonna make good money because you're gonna have those good street routes. They're gonna be hard. You're gonna have a lot of a lot of stops, a lot of cases, and you can make money like that. Now, the guys, that's in like the top 15 on the board. And this is not a board. This is not a real board. <laughs> it might be like a um, it might be like on a piece of paper or you know in the computer. You know, when you think of a board, I know people probably picturing like a board with everybody's name on it. But, but anyways, let's not get caught up on that. But I think guys that's in the top 15, <coughs> they're gonna do stops like, they're gonna do like hotels where they dropping pallets. They're gonna do like, um, they got like hospitals. Um, they're doing like Whole Foods when they dropping pallets. They just got it really easy and really chill. It doesn't necessarily mean that they're making the most money in the building, but they have uh, the better chances to make the most money in the building because um, they get a lot of cases and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Now, let's talk about how does seniority, um, how does it affect you working on the weekend, okay? Now, let's talk about this. Now, speaking about this, you know, it's a pandemic going on, so we're not talking about it now. We're talking about, like, when everything is regular and these food service companies are booming, right? <laughs> Some guys have to work six days, you know what I mean? And um, having seniority matters because let's just say they have 30 routes going out on a Saturday who do you think they're going to um, ask to work? Or who do you think that's going to be on the schedule? It's typically the bottom 30 guys on the list. So if you have 
70 guys in the building, the top 40 guys probably don't have to worry about working if it's 30 routes going out on Saturday. Now, the exception to that list is that you have a lot of guys um, on, the, on, the, on the board that they work too much hours in the week, so they don't have enough hours to work on Saturday. And a lot of guys I've noticed in the past, they'll run up their hours on purpose because they don't want to work on Saturday. That is a no-no because if you're on component pay, that means your component is like very low and you're working for like 20 something dollars an hour. And I'm gonna be honest with you, in food service, you wanna you wanna um you wanna be at $30 an hour or close. Like that's where your goal should be. You know what I mean? You wanna be around that right now. You know what I'm saying? So sonority matters when it comes to Saturday. And this is the other reason how seniority matters when it comes to Saturday. If you if you have seniority over some drivers that's working on Saturday, you want to make the extra money. You can also ask for Saturday, and you'll get Saturday over the new guy. You know what I'm saying? That's if you want to work on the weekends. So, um, I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm done um, working on Saturday. I did my time. You know. Maybe if things get busy again, and I get like a rotating schedule where I work every other Saturday or things like that, but <clears throat> I'm not, right now I got a decent route. Um, my route make decent money, so I'm not tripping, you know what I mean? I get a lot of cases, I have a lot of stops. So I'm satisfied for now, man. Um, <sighs> how you can move up on the board in seniority. Stay with the company where you at, man. Just stay with the company where you at. Um, guys are gonna retire. Guys are gonna quit. Guys are gonna get fired. It's just, it's just the nature of the beast. You feel me? Usually, the guys that stick around in food service, they're typically the top, I would say like the top 40 to top 50 drivers you know this have some like some type of structure like like they're just there they've been there like two years three years four years five years six years they've been there a long time because my homeboy my boy that i hang with the most um he's number 33 on the board and i think he's been with the company seven years or eight years and he's number 33 on the board so that gives you an example where you're going to be on the board depending on how long you stay. And one other thing about my DC, um, in the upcoming, upcoming years, it's going to be like, off the top of my head, it's going to be like five drivers that's going to be retiring. So, you know, I'm gonna, that's like five slots I'm going to move up. I'm going to move up for, um, from number 40 to number 35 on the board. Shout out to Brad. He works for McLean. He um he been with McLean a long time. He's number twelve on the board in his DC. You know what I mean? So that that's a big number there. He get a lot of um just just think about it, man. You get a lot of perks on picking good routes. You know, and trust me, in food service, routes matters. You know what I'm saying? Routes matters. Um, now when it comes to transferring. I don't know if other DC is gonna honor your sonority, but the majority of companies, um, they'll honor your sonority when you're coming from one division to another. You know, I think that'd be the right thing to do anyway. Even though guys that's working at a particular DC, they will probably don't think that's the right thing to do, but I think that's the right thing to do. You feel me? But sonority matters, man, in food service. And you know me, man, I, I don't never have a, um, on YouTube, I don't schedule my videos. I don't have like a list. I don't sit back. I don't like say to myself, you know what? I'm going to talk about this today. I'm going to talk about that. It just flows off the top of my head, man. You know what I mean? It just flows off the top of my head. I'm not a YouTuber, man. I'm just, I'm just somebody that make videos on YouTube that try to help people. You feel me? So if this is your first time watching my channel and stuff like that, um, just go ahead and subscribe to the channel, man. Um, you know, hit the bell and all that stuff there. You know what I mean, help me get this $300 a month YouTube check to 400.
<laughs> know what I mean? But, um, yeah. We out here, man. Appreciate everybody watching. Y'all take it easy.